wife takes ultimate revenge on her cheating husband, which costs him his multi-million dollar house. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to MNR TV and hit the bell so you never miss any upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Marriages are a union of two souls and a commitment for a lifetime. A couple needs to work together in every phase of life to make their relationship a success. It is beautiful to see two independent individuals falling in love, deciding to tie the knot, and promising each other a lifetime of togetherness. But as it goes, no day is the same. The sun might not shine brightly, and there are days when it is cloudy. Edith and Jake, a couple from Arizona, were happily married. One fine day, it was discovered that after 30 years of long marriage, Jack was cheating on Edith. The revenge that Edith took from Jack was something that broke the internet. What was it? Read in here to see how Edith made him taste a medicine none would really wish to. Jack was caught cheating on his wife, Edith, and instead of being guilty, he decided to call his marriage quits. He asked Edith to move out of their house, the house which was a million dollar property, no less than anyone's dream home. However, Edith was a smart woman. She decided to leave something behind in her house, and when Jack saw what it was, he decided to gift back the home to her. No relation is able to sustain when either of the partners is caught cheating over the other. Infidelity breaks everything, and this is what happened in Jack and Edith's marriage of 30 years. It is tough for a partner to go through this phase, and the only word that comes to them is revenge. Edith, too, didn't let go of things that easy. Edith and Jack met through a dating website. They shared some common traits and hobbies, and thus showed interest in each other's profile. The duo went on a date and immediately caught each other's full attention. While talking about themselves, they did not realize how time flew by. All they wanted was just to continue talking. Was it love at first sight for them? Jack and Edith didn't know whether it was love at first sight or not. All they knew was that they really liked each other's companionship and wished to stay together forever. As days passed, love blossomed between them. To them, every day came as a fresh and exciting one where they could cherish each other's presence. And finally, after dating for over six months, Jack presented the big question. On one of his dates, Jack suddenly went on a knee and took a box of the ring out from his pocket. Edith was all amazed, though she had been waiting for this all the while, and finally the moment was there. Jack said the much-awaited words, Will you marry me, Edith? There were no chances that Edith would refuse the proposal. She readily agreed. The couple was looking forward to tying the knot and starting their marital bliss. Little did they know how this happiness would turn into a major regret that they will have to carry all their lives. The couple tied the knot in the year 1987. They read the vows and promised to be there for each other in all the times. They said they shall remain loyal to one another and love their spouses deeply. While the vows meant something to them then, years later Edith realized that they were just a common ritual that had to be fulfilled and nothing more. The couple right after their marriage shifted into their new home. As they belonged to quite well-off families, they bought a multi-million dollar house for themselves. It was a huge mansion in one of the top localities. Life was beautiful to them until... Edith and Jack had two kids who grew up into respected individuals. They all had a family life like any other family, but one day Edith saw a message on Jack's phone, which was from his secretary. What it read wasn't something professional, but something too personal for any wife to accept. Recently, Jack hired a new secretary who was quite young in age, and this story turned out to be like the typical one. Jack was cheating on Edith with his secretary. She was young and beautiful, and for a major part of the day, the duo would spend their time together. When Edith saw that message, she questioned Jack. When Edith questioned Jack about what was cooking between him and his secretary, Jack had all the answers which she had least expected. When she thought that he would be guilty of cheating on her, he was all vocal about his extramarital affair with his secretary. This broke Edith, she was completely shattered. However, this wasn't the end. Edith felt betrayed. Her 30 years of blissful marital life came to an end like this. She had never expected that Jack, with whom she was deeply in love, could do something like this to her someday. It was a shock to her. And instead of holding her back, Jack asked for a divorce from her. 
This wasn't that easy, though. They entered into a legal battle which stretched for months, and at stake was nothing but the multi-million dollar house which the couple was living in. Edith demanded the house as alimony. The couple wasn't fighting over being together but for the luxury house. However, soon the tables would turn. After several court hearings, a conclusion was made. Edith lost the battle and her demand for the mansion was held unacceptable. She was given three days to empty the house, while Jack on the other side was planning to get his secretary shifted here. But Edith had some other plans. It wasn't clear as to why the love between the couple was lost and suddenly why were they both all after the materialistic things. When Edith realized that she had lost the case, she decided to take matters into her own hands and in the three days of the time period, she left something in the house which compelled Jack to give her the mansion. On the second night, Edith was all busy packing up her stuff in boxes. She made sure that everything that belonged to her was packed. The woman had some special plans for her darling husband and his new love interest. But before playing her last card, she ensured she did not leave behind anything that she needed. What were her plans? And it was finally the third night. Edith, with a heavy heart, sat on the huge dining table and had her last dinner inside that house. She gazed at every part in every corner of the house. She had her shrimps and caviar with a glass of wine. The tears rolling down her eyes suddenly changed into a smirk. Why? Next morning marked the major shift. Edith took her bags and left the place. Jack and his secretary were left all by themselves in the mansion. Everything seemed to be perfect as expected, but that wasn't exactly the case. As a few weeks passed by, Edith's game plan came to action. Jack was extremely happy. He thought his life had a fresh start, and after a monotonous life, a new kind of excitement came in. Initially, he was having the best time of his life with his secretary. As time passed by, he realized something was off. Their house was smelling a little weird. A horrible and disgusting smell was dominating their entire house. It was an unbearable odor. Jack could not understand where the smell was coming from. It was a strong smell and the source couldn't be located. Jack thought the house needed some cleaning and ventilation. Was it the only thing it needed? His secretary opened all the windows and doors. She made sure that there's enough sunlight coming in through them and the sunroof so that this odd smell escapes the room. Unfortunately, this did not work. And as the smell intensified, Jack asked for the help of professional cleaners. The professional cleaners cleaned every single kitchen cabinet, every piece of furniture, the curtains, and the other upholstery. All the vents, chimneys were cleaned with soap and water, and room and air fresheners installed. While they thought this would work, it too did not. What was the issue? Jack was outraged. He could not understand that even after spending a huge sum of money on the cleaning acts, why didn't the smell go? Its source could not be traced, and day by day the smell grew stronger and stronger. For one last time, a frantic cleaning was carried out, but even it did not bear fruit. It was just done for the couple. Now what? Jack knew that the house was not worthy of staying in. He, along with his mistress, decided to put the huge mansion on sale and the money in exchange could be used to buy another property. The multi-million dollar house was now on sale and there was a huge list of potential buyers. But the property was so amazing that people were attracted to it like anything. Jack was hoping that soon only he would get rid of this one and buy a new luxurious mansion for himself. Yet nothing like this happened. As soon as the buyers would enter the place to have an insight view, they would smell the absurd and horrible odor and would change their minds to invest money on this property. By now, even retailers stepped back. They no longer brought potential buyers to see this property. They did not take Jack's call. Getting rid of the house with such an awful smell was getting tough. He decided to leave this behind and buy himself another house he could afford at the moment, and then Edith steps in. Edith was in constant touch with the broker to whom Jack had asked to help him in selling the house. She knew the house wasn't sold yet and it was the right time to bother her ex-husband. She calls Jack for a friendly conversation, knowing that he would definitely speak about the house. What was her plan? Jack, as expected, told Edith about the mansion and the smell. Edith now started with something she had been waiting to do all the while. She told Jack how much she misses that home. She had so many memories attached to it. The house had witnessed their togetherness, the birth of their children, and so much more. And then she presented her trump card. Edith told Jack that if he's ready to give the house to her, she would happily alter the divorce agreement and the couple could get the legal confirmation soon in that case. Jack in no way could have denied the offer. He would get away with the smelly house, 
and could even save some money. Jack and Edith agreed, and Edith was finally in the house, the huge mansion she had done all of this for. While Jack was happy to leave the stinking house, Edith was all set to get the house clean. She knew where and what the smell was, she had done that on purpose. The smell was coming from the last meal that Edith had in this house before she left this place. On that night, she had eaten caviar and shrimp, and the smart woman never disposed of the leftovers. Rather, she disposed of the food particles in the curtain iron rod. The leftover kept on rotting in the sun and caused that awful smell. What an idea she used. Edith got the iron curtain rods cleaned. The rotten food was thrown out and so were the rods. New iron rods installed and the house was good as always. Edith was now living in the same mansion her husband had asked her to leave like a queen. You go, girl. <laughs>